where does that leave uh, Chris Paul, though? A, a top five, top ten all time if he wins a championship. And what do you have him now? What do you what do you have him ranked now amongst point guards? And then if he does win, where does he go? In no particular order, these are my top five. So um Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, Jason Kidd, um Steph Curry. Um, LeBron James. <laughs> So we just gonna throw. I mean, I'm not even mad at you. You know I'm a LeBron guy, so I'm not even mad at you throwing LeBron in there. But th- let's let's put somebody in there that that was actually listed at the point guard for the bulk of their career. Let's keep LeBron out. I'm with you on that. I, I'm want, I'm all for that. Anytime somebody shot LeBron, and I'm all for that. But let's put somebody who who has had that PG under the the, the title for the bulk of their career to to replace LeBron. Um. Well, I'll add this, you know, LeBron on NBA Live 2004 was the, the starting point guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers. J. All right, you know what? I got him as the starting point guard right now on my team, so I'm going to give you that. I'm not going to put you on the spot. Where's Chris Paul at? He's in my top ten. So the, the further part of that list is uh, John Stockton. Okay. Um, Mark Jackson. Chris Paul. Okay. And I, I said Isaiah, right? My top five. Yeah, yeah, Isaiah's in the top five. So I said John. So Mark Jackson, John Stockton, Chris Paul. Um does now so does he does Chris Paul jump into your top five now? No. Oh, so he has I, I, I don't really I don't I really hate these top five, top tens. Top ten is more comfortable because I think when you say top five. Then when you leave a Stockton or you leave a Chris Paul out, then people are mad um, because I, I, and, and I think that's when you start looking at big point guards like we acknowledge Magic Johnson as a point guard. Um, and then you learn we run into people who look at Isaiah Thomas and they dislike him so they won't put him in that conversation. And I, I'm just not I'm not one of those guys. Yeah, I, I think even if you put Chris Paul, OK, he wins the championship, then what? I don't look at it like that. It's, it's guys I I enjoy watching. So yeah. for me, I, I don't I don't necessarily look at it like like Pistol Pete. I know people always put him up there, but I didn't watch him I, as a kid. I, I watched video of him. Yeah, um, Isaiah. I was young, but I but I was but I have watched enough video. And you know, my stepdad being from Chicago, they grew up together down the street. So it's like I I have a appreciation for it. And I also saw Magic try to come back and be like LeBron size, trying to out rebound Magic, or try out rebound Dennis Rodman. It was, it was a slam poster I had in my room. So like, I, I, I think like I, I get, I think I would get a pass in, in a court of public opinion for that. So I, I'm still having a difficult time. I think if I had to kind of round out that top eight, top ten, I think I put Steph Curry in my top five, and I think he's earned that, even though people yeah. front on him because they feel like he's his daddy's child and he has a silver spoon and but. You know, people also look at Kobe in that way, and Kobe Bryant grew up a second generation basketball player. So, that, um, Michael Jordan kids ain't in the NBA, right? And they both play college. They play college basketball. It don't always work out yeah. like that. Where you, just because you was in the NBA, your son gonna be great. It doesn't always work out that way. There's guys that don't even play basketball. You know that uh, in the NBA that have kids that don't play basketball at all. So I don't even, I don't even go by that. Um, mm-hmm. I will say this: I'm gonna give you my top five. Um, Magic is is number one. Steph, I got at number two. Isaiah, I got at at number three. Um, and then I got uh Jason Kidd at four, and I got Stockton at five with Chris Paul at six. If Chris Paul wins the championship this year, I got to push him up into the top five and take Stockton out. I'm sorry for you Jazz fans that want me to leave him in the top five, but I can't do it. Um, you know, especially. With Chris Paul playing at the level that he's playing right now to win a championship, I'd, I'd have to put him, push him up on my list into the top five because he's, you know, he's still balling. You know, even with Jason Kidd, we look at Jason Kidd when he won the championship with the Mavericks it was a little bit later on. It wasn't prime Jason Kidd that that got that ring, even though he put in work, but it wasn't. The Nets, you know, what I'm saying Jason Kidd when he was putting up crazy numbers. Or Dallas in his first thing. 
that yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Or, or Dallas in this in this first thing. Um, so I I, th- I would push him up, uh, but I, I'm excited. I actually I do think that the series is actually going to be really competitive without Giannis being there. I hope he does come back because I ju- I feel really bad for Giannis because it's like damn, the team finally gets over the hump. Um, and you ain't there. And you, and you ain't there. And oh, uh, that's 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 so tough. You know, so messed up for Giannis. Um, because it was a, a freak thing. It wasn't. You know what I mean? Like. It was just a freak play coming down, and that happens so much where guys just come down on somebody's foot or get tripped or something, some little minor thing like that, and then boom, now you're missing a, a, a lot of time. So yeah. I hope I hope he can come back at some point in the finals. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to come back if he can. Just be, you know, just I think just the competitor, you gotta try it at least. If it don't. If it don't happen, it don't happen. But I think he's gonna try just because even the fact that you know you brought up him coming back out, you know during the game he got hurt in, and I was I was like, hold up, he about to go <laughs> go back in the game because he walked out, you know. So maybe you know what I'm saying we gonna throw the prayer hands up. Maybe he can you know get back, get at least get at least in two games, you know, in the finals, play at least in two. Um, but I, I'm looking forward to the NBA finals either way. If I can, the last two. And I know it make, makes me sound like a hypocrite because of one of the guys I'm going to name, but the last two on my list, nine and ten, would be Russell Westbrook and Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson, to me, while I didn't watch him play, I have spent enough time around him hosting an event that he uh, was honored at, and I realized his impact after specifically uh, what Russell Westbrook um, accomplished this year. But I'll add this. If it was not for Oscar Robertson, a lot of players in today's game would not have some of the liberties and the freedoms that they have today, specifically as it relates to free agency um, and, and the Retired Players Association, which is a union for players once they're done, um, as well as, you know, the um, the, the, the uh, Players Association union that is current. So um, that that rounds out my top 10. I'd probably, if, if, if I watched Oscar Robertson, like, at play at all, I'd probably have him at four on my list, but I wanted to keep it with guys that I actually saw uh, saw play in the, play in the game because I think that's kind of that's a little bit unfair. To throw if guys not the Oscar, then maybe Steve Nash. Steve Nash is up there as as, as well. Um, and I listen. I love Westbrook, man. I'm 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 a fan of Westbrook. Shoot, mm-hmm. I'm actually like you know I know they're talking about all the different trade rumors and stuff for next season. I'm I'm actually okay with Westbrook if they if somehow the Lakers would get Westbrook in a trade. I think he'd do very well next to LeBron and AD. So I'm actually I'm mean, I'm even okay with that. So you got him in your top ten. I I got him in my top ten as as well. So you know what I'm saying. Shout out to shout out to to, to Westbrook. Um, I know he gets a lot of flack, but you know it is it is what it is. Another person we got to show some love to uh, Nate 